Right, anyway, yeah. we are in game. Go ahead and introduce these two players, Zoya. Alright, well, spawning in the bottom right hand corner of the map. Uh, that's from Team M uh, My Insanity, as our pink Zerg. We, had, we saw him in game number one. Defending very well the first two all-ins, just a little bit of a miscalculation for that third and final all-in. It is Dana. And in the top left-hand corner of the map, the player that is up 1-0 to zero from Team Infused. It is our red Zerg player, Cowdy. Now, now how many players advance from each group stage? It's two, correct? Two. Two players go through group stage one. They're then joined by the 32 players already waiting who've got um, direct seeds forward. And so that's where a lot of the big names are. The people like your Stefanos, your Stardust, your Jadongs, etc. And of course, that's where things start really heating up. That's going to be coming nope. up actually. No. Nope. Who did you say? Jadong. Why'd you say it so weird the first time? Did I? Yeah, it sounded weird, man. I was like, what? Who is he talking about? What did um, I say? I'm really paranoid now. I must have said something really weird. It's, you made your J sound like a D, so it was like da dong or something like that. It was. Maybe I'm just being weird. It's early. I'm here. Is it, is it because I'm speaking English properly, Zoya? Is that the problem? I don't think so, man. I wouldn't call that proper. <laughs> Am I, is it because I'm speaking English and not American? Does it confuse you at this time in the morning? Yeah, for you? it does. It does. You know, my <laughs> mind's like a, a, a catch up to the, the time zone here, but. You're right, yeah. man. Continue with it your thought. I it, rudely interrupted you. Don't worry, it's fine. My thought was that Jadong is, and Stardust, and all those pros are going to be coming in the next group stage. So that's where the competition really starts heating up. But of course, all of these people in group stage one are still the vast majority of them. High Masters, Dana Grandmasters. You've got to be sitting there and thinking, do you know what? I want to be getting into those later stages. Because people who you may not expect to be taking down the Titans can and do a Dreamhacks. Like, look at, look at last month, Dreamhack Summer. Everyone was like, well, start our life, he's won, he's won this, like, GG. And then, of course, he didn't. And that's the sort of point where you start seeing these really, not so much upsets, but unusual results, which I always find yeah. so fun to watch. Like last DreamHack, like you were just talking about, uh, Nanny Wall was eliminated in Group Stage 2. That's someone, you know, the, the DreamHack before that, he was in the, the semifinal, or he was in the finals, actually. He took second place. Next DreamHack in Group Stage 2, which is one of the earliest stages. I mean, that's, that's actually the, the second round. He gets eliminated. I mean, the dream hacks, you, you can never uh, underestimate your opponent. You have to be constantly careful. And I like the way they always do best of threes as well. Um, even this stage is group stage one, best of three games. So you can't lose to, say, build order losses necessarily. Um, it's, it's just a much nicer system. But anyway, we should probably talk about the game just a tad. We do have one Zergling in here for Dana getting a little check round. Both players went for those hatches. Pull into hatch. Nice and safe. Speed coming down. Cowdy still with the three drones in gas though. Meanwhile over on Dana's side still also mining with those three drones in gas. So that just means Bailings will be coming out. The Bailing Nest is already on its way out for Dana and Cowdy. So Cowdy's is slightly ahead. Just means that Ling Bling phase is going to be coming down quite nicely. Dana getting the Spine Caller. So more likely to be playing that a bit more defensively. Yeah, uh, you know, Spine Car definitely points to defensive play. Um, there is a little bit of a window here that Cowdy can do a lot of damage, though. He's got 14 lings on the way. Speed is just about to finish. His Bailing Nest is done. So as his Speed Lings are arriving from the reinforcements, he's going to have his Bailing finishing up. This can be a powerful hit here from Cowdy. Dana has to be really careful. The Spine Car will be done, and as well as the Bailing Nest. But defensive-wise, he's got two lings on the way and four out on the field. He'll have to get the most perfect bailing connect if he wants to hold this attack. Well, he's gonna have to do very, very nicely. The Zerglings are coming. There's a good number of bailings there, though, Zoya. And if the connects are good, it can work. But, of course, Cowdy playing and right, sending the bailings in two at a time because it's like Noah's Ark on this side of the map. You always want to take it careful. The bailings coming in, and that is where the hits go off. Good connections there. Cowdy, a massive, massive loss of Zerglings. Dana getting the connection needed. And this push suddenly losing the vast majority of its momentum. You know, it was looking really good for Cowdy there when he got that initial connect on the spine crawler. Uh, if that one, that one singular bay on the connecting with those all those links hadn't happened, Dana could be in a lot more trouble right now. But if you look at that harvester's kill tab, zero drones were killing that attack by Cowdy, putting the harvester tab 33 to 17. Cowdy so far behind right now. Yeah, Cowdy just following up though with more speedlings and that's something that Dana does need to identify but already got a good number of his own 16 to 22 
with more coming out, Dana should be able to identify this pretty quick. Sees with the Overlord, there's a good number there. There's the production getting started for Dana, getting the lair down too. The Banelings have been spotted. Dana being a bit more aggressive with this, pushing forward, wants to make sure Banelings aren't allowed to morph. He gets a good read of how many Banelings there are there. But instantly, Dana getting some Banelings in defensively too. The only concern I've got is that one of those spine callers is sitting there with only 18 health. The second one is up though. And Cowdy, his push has got so much less momentum here. Dana's in an even better position than at the time of that first push. Well, here comes those Banelings in for round two. Two of them do not get through. One drone dies there, and there are so many banelings and lings left over here. But here comes the initial two. The spine collars are just whittling these down before they can get to the lings or the mineral line. Oh, Huge good. connect. DGG drop from Cowdy. Dana gonna take game number two. Well.